fishing is our way of life. That's our way of going to church and connecting with our spirituality. And we've always been taught, you know, when the tide is out, the table is set. We're not a conquered people. We ceded this territory for just a little bit of rights. But 60 years ago, my father was still getting his head bashed in on the riverbanks. He was getting his head bashed in in Olympia. The tribe's traditional practices became illegal under state law. Our people fought for this. We fought for it, blood, sweat, and tears. All we wanted to do was be able to exercise our treaty right, to be able to fish and hunt in our usual and accustomed grounds. The object was us getting in front of the feds. We burned one of their bridges. <laughs> I said, you know, sign me on, sign our firm on. The state management was like a good old boys club. Their position was racist. Wait till I get that guy on the witness stand. <laughs> All of a sudden, we're the bad guys. We're taking something away from the poor Indian who's never had anything. Oh, is that kind of bullshit? If all the fish go away, our treaty is a worse spin. I'm going to continue fishing, period. Future generations should have a birthright to harvest fish from a river. The state of Washington, they didn't want to tell people the truth. You know, it is time to tell the truth.